What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, we're gonna be taking a look at the Orange Crush Pro 120. Joining me on drums for this demo is Mr. Tom Tierney of the bands Solaria and Whiplash, making his uh, Gear Gods debut. I'm really hoping to be able to incorporate a lot more live drums into these demos, so we'll see what happens.
Just because I've never personally done drugs in my life, doesn't mean that I don't know the sound of good stoner metal when I hear it. Orange has kind of been the progenitor for the uh, stoner rock and stoner metal sound from the beginning. There are plenty of uh, imitators and uh, other amps that have also been used very heavily in the stoner rock genre like Sun uh, amps and stuff like that. But Orange has been around since the very early days and sort of defined that sound. The Crush Pro 120 is a 120 watt solid state version of some of Orange's uh, more expensive tube heads. It has all the features of those heads with the exception of a solid state power amp and preamp. We've got two channels, the dirty channel and the clean channel. Pretty simple, foot switchable, along with the built-in reverb, of which there are three varieties, hall, spring, and plate, which I believe are all DSP. I don't think there's a spring reverb chamber in here. It sports the classic orange control graphic, but with the added convenience of actual English words for people who don't want to interpret hieroglyphics to try and figure out which knob they're turning. The dirty channel has a three band EQ and a gain control, whereas the clean channel only has bass and treble as well as volume. Now I do kind of feel like a clean channel needs a lot less to get it to where it's going than a distortion channel, and so that makes sense to me. It's got that classic, really gritty orange distortion sound and a big, very warm, clean tone. Hopefully from the demo, you discerned what I did, which was that the Crush Pro 120 captures the essence of the orange tone, even in a much lower priced solid state amp. It sounds like an orange. It's got a huge doomy sound. It's not like a 5150 or something that's like real tight and neat. It's, it's got a roaring kind of gnarly quality to it. Perfect for the kind of stuff that I played for the demo. The reverb sounds on here are pretty vast. I would almost say that the knob goes too far. It would be really easy to do too much. Luckily, the reverb is also foot switchable. We didn't get a foot switch with the head, but I'm aware that it has a reverb button on there. So you can sort of slather it on and then turn it off when you don't need it. All in all, I think the Crush Pro 120 is a solid representation of what Orange Amps is all about for an absurdly low price for a really loud head. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more reviews and original content, and I will see you soon.